Hi, I'm Max with the developer relations team here at Zoom. And today I'd like to talk to you about how you can create a Zoom app on our marketplace right now. So if you take a look at my screen, you can see I've already navigated to marketplace.zoom.us. And immediately we can see some information about what Zoom apps are, as well as some apps that we can install right now. We're going to focus on creating our own app today. So make sure that you're logged in with an account that has access uh, to create applications on the Zoom marketplace. Um, what this means is if you're an admin, you should be all good to go. Uh, but if you're a user, then you'll want to speak with your admin and make sure that you have the proper permissions added to your role. With all of that set, go ahead and click Build App under the Develop dropdown on the right-hand side. And we'll see a page where we can create a, a few different types of apps. We're going to focus on Zoom apps today, the very first one. So click Create there to see the dialog here. We're going to name our app, and this is what's going to be used when we publish to the Zoom Marketplace if we choose to do so. And it can't be changed going forward, so make sure that you pick an app uh, or a name that makes sense for your app. Uh, we only have user-managed app types right now, which means that each user uh, installs and authorizes the app individually. So nothing to select there. And finally, we have our distribution checkbox. Uh, leave this checked if you want to publish your app to the Zoom Marketplace. But for these purposes, we'll go ahead and leave that unchecked. Once our app is created, we can see we have our credentials page here with the first item being the home URL. This is important because this is the URL that Zoom will open first when your app is launched. Uh, if you're using one of our reference apps, this would be your ngrok URL. And in this case, uh, that's what I'm going to use here too. So we can see right there, just the base URL is the home page for us. Moving on, we have some options for OAuth authentication. This is how uh, your app is installed and authorized for users. So you can see the client ID and the client secret. Those are essentially the username and password for your app. And then we have the redirect URL. And that's where uh, Zoom will redirect to once a user has authorized your app in order to provide you with the access token. So we'll paste that in there. Um, we're using, as you can see, the same domain as our homepage, but with slash auth. Um, if you're using one of our reference apps, then this is the format that you'll want to use. But if you're creating your own app, then make sure you're tailoring uh, this URL to what you've set up in your app. So I want to tell Zoom that this is indeed the URL we want to use for OAuth by allowing it in the OAuth allow list. And we will also want to confirm that the Zoom client can connect to this domain. Perfect. So the app credentials page is filled out. Let's go ahead and move on to information. So in the information tab, this is all details that are specific to you and your app that you're creating. Uh, as a bare minimum, we want to make sure that we have the short description as well as our long description. Also make sure that you're adding in a developer name and a developer email. Perfect. We'll go ahead and click continue. And now we can see our features page. This is where you can enable all the different functions and capabilities of Zoom apps, either through the SDK uh, APIs or through our uh, standard webhook features that we offer with our other OAuth applications. For the cases of uh, for the case of setting up our basic reference app, all we would need to do is select the share app permission. Go ahead and click done. Great. So that's all we need to do here. But as you can see, there's a lot more to do, uh, including enabling collaborate mode or guest mode, depending on the use case of your app. Moving on to the scopes tab, here we can see the Zoom app in meeting scope has already been added for us. But if we wanted to extend the capabilities of our application, we would first add uh, the APIs and scopes that we needed right here. And this would be for uh, calling the Zoom API with your Zoom app OAuth token. And there we are. Now we can click add to install our app here or we can move over to the app credentials page and copy this client ID and client secret over to one of our reference applications. Thank you for joining me for this video and I hope to see you in the future. Happy coding.